going on everybody? Uh, this is my third attempt of trying to make this video. And unfortunately, the sound quality is terrible and I didn't want to do that to anybody. I am um, here at the Flying J, as you can tell. And it's raining like crazy. It's been raining, so I decided to shut down early. Not like I have much time left anyway, but I decided to shut down early because of the, the load that I'm on, you know, I have up until tomorrow night to deliver it, and I'm only about, um, I want to say about 300 miles away, so I can do that tomorrow, no problem, um, so I decided to uh, take time off for myself, relax a little bit, you know, something I, I don't do too often, okay, and um, what I wanted to do is, what I've been trying to do, is make this video, um, first of all, I think on all the new people who, um, there goes that APU again, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm parked in between two reefer units, you know, I was here, I was parked all by myself, they decided to come park next to me. I got one guy who has a reefer in an APU, another guy that on the other side has a reefer, and it gets loud from time to time. Um, and, you know, I could, if I have my windows roll up, it gets kind of warm in here, but i do it for this video. I'll, I'll sweat it out for you guys. <laughs> and it's for the video purpose. It quiet down a little bit. But, um, like I was saying, I got, I got you know, couple of new people subscribed to my page and I thank you guys for it I appreciate it um, I know I'm not a big YouTube superstar I uh, don't claim to be and I don't want to be um, I feel like a lot of these uh, youtubers they make videos for the for the wrong reasons you know sorry guys but it is what it is I feel like they're fraudulent you know, yeah, they, they tell you that, you know, they care about helping people out. But have you ever noticed, have you ever realized at the end of the freaking video, they all say the same thing? Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. What does that tell you? What are, what are, they, what are they out there for? You know, they're out there for a payday. I don't care about that. You know, I have 90-something subscribers. You know, it's not a lot. And I'm thankful for each one of you guys to take the time to watch my videos. These are more of a, a tool to help you guys out there. You know, when I first started this, this page, this channel, I started it for my kids. So they can see, you know, what daddy, what dad is up to and what daddy goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I started it. And it just kind of took off from there. And that's where I have people, you know, send me inbox messages, asking me questions. And so, you know... It feels good to be able to help people, to give back, you know. <clears throat> it was so hard to, to, you know, it was hard to, um, for me when I got started to, you know, to find videos and stuff like that. And, you know, you ask somebody a question and you, you'd be lucky if you get a response and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> my name's Thomas. I go by, you know, people call me Tom for short. I go by the name G-Man the Trucker. That's my trucker handle. Uh, that's my name on my uh, my uh, my channel. Um, I'll explain that in another video. But um, I'm a <clears throat> I'm a third timer, if you will. Um, <clears throat> I got my first start in trucking back in 1996. That was my first taste for it. Was uh, was a company called MS Carriers, who some of you guys might know, some of you guys might have never heard of, but they got bought out by Swift, and you know Swift became a you know the big company that they are now. But um, that's who I started with, and found out I was being a father for the first time. Excuse me, and I didn't want to be away from my son, especially not your firstborn. That's crazy. So I decided, to add, nope, trucking's not for me. You know, I want to see their, I want to see my son take his first steps, say his first words, and so on and so forth. So 
after that I went um, <clears throat> went to school for automotives and mechanics um, did that side uh, uh, mechanics that's what I want to do uh, I thought I wanted to do that but now it wasn't for me um, <clears throat> then I um, went and I worked had, you know I did um uh, had a career in management. I did, I did management for about six or seven years. Um, <clears throat> got tired of that. And <clears throat> decided to give trucking another shot. And, oh, nope. Actually, after management, I, I tried something different. I, um, I, went, I went into work for EMS, you know, which emerged emergency medical services. Um, I thought it was, you know, it was gratifying, it was rewarding to know that you make a difference, helping someone save their life and so on and so forth. You know, it's gratifying, but the pay's not there. So, didn't want to do that. So I decided to get back into trucking for a second time and <clears throat> found out my son was diagnosed with a brain tumor. So that didn't work. You know, I had to be there for that, you know. That's a life or death situation. I wasn't gonna be away from my son during that, and um, <clears throat> I uh, then I went into management. <clears throat> got tired of that. I went back into management the second time around. Got tired of that. You know, tired of sitting behind a desk. And <clears throat> and my wife, she she pushed me because she know how much I love trucking, and she pushed me push me and told me to get back into it so I did you know um, <clears throat> and I've been doing it ever since you know I um, I enjoy it you know it's a, it's a, it's a fun career I love it um, and the money's good you know you, you go to different places you see different things and that's where I'm at, you know, um, I don't run over, I used to run OTR, I don't run OTR anymore, um, I run mainly Midwest, Northeast, you know, the whole East Coast se sector, uh, Midwest, Down South, a little bit of Southeast, um, I don't care for the West Coast, been there, done that, you know, I don't want to be in uh, Colorado, South Dakota, North Dakota. Um, been in, I've been in enough scary situations, you know, being in North Dakota where it's negative 20 degrees, going down a steep downgrade with a sheet of ice, you know, and 78,000 pounds. You know, I just, I don't need that. Don't need to, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody. So, you know, if I can run the freight lanes I like to run, that's what I, I, I you know, I want to do. I don't want to be in bad situations. I don't want to have to chain up um, I don't chain up, you know, I refuse to chain up, so, that's not for me, but anyway, anywho, um, I'm kind of getting away with the topic here, but yeah, that's what I do, um, <clears throat> and for all you guys who just came over to my channel, if you have any, uh, questions, feel free to ask them, I'll help you out as best I can, I appreciate you watching my, watching my videos, I know there's not much to look at, but you know, I just, my videos, I like to let people see the situation I go through and so that way they get, you know, helps them, gives them kind of an idea of what to look for when they come out here. So, you know, that's that. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. I know I rambled on long enough. Kind of got away from what I was saying, but it's all right. You guys get the idea. Peace.